You're watching Soulful Discussions. All right, so hi, how are you doing today? Hello, I'm good. How are all right. you? All right. Yeah. Um, so first of all, how did we just meet right here? Um, I'm, we're at Mission Bay. Uh -huh. Am I allowed to say location? Um, if, whatever you feel comfortable. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just sitting here stretching and he came up to me and he wanted to ask a couple questions. So. Absolutely. And so yeah, yeah, as she's saying, we're here at this beautiful little bay that they have, right? Kind of a park overlooking it. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, so I told you we were going to talk about three subjects today. Do you remember what those subjects are? Um, you said something about feet, something about said that. something about mental health, yep. and I can't remember the last one. Reflexology. Reflexology, Okay, yes. let me ask you this. When you hear those three together, do you feel like they connect in any sort of way? Um, I do, yeah. I okay. mean, I just finished stretching. You so were just, I, that I was, was the thing I saw yeah. you out here doing, like I was walking from over there yeah. and you were just like... It's like actually pretty ironic because I was literally just stretching and like I was feeling in my head this morning and that's why I reached for stretching this morning. I so I think they're all interconnected. Yeah. I love that. I love yeah. that. So yeah, we're going to ask a couple questions today. Feel free to answer however you like. Okay. Okay. So if you can, we're going to talk about that first page. If I can, let me get you to take your sandals off right for right now. And then just put your feet down flat here because what we want to do is match it up to that first page that we saw there. And first of all, what size shoe do you wear? I'm like a seven and a half to an eight. Seven and a half to an eight. Okay. Yes. Does it, it kind of varies depending on the type of shoe you're wearing, I'm imagining, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, and if we're going according to this here, what do you feel like your toe alignment matches closer to? Kind of a little bit more closely to that one. Which yeah. one do you think? Yeah. No, I just think it's the angle. Yeah, but the yeah, angle, yeah. probably the Orient. Yeah. Okay. Which cool. makes sense. Which makes sense. <laughs> yeah. well, where are you from? I am from China. Okay. From yeah. China. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Kind of yeah. closer to that one. Texas. All right. Cool. Let me get you if you can. Feet out straight, just so we can see. Oh, straight. Oh. Okay. And just and you have a little bit more respect. Do you I ever do. have trouble wearing any type of shoes, like certain types of shoes? That you I do. That's why I wear these sandals. Okay. And then they're, you can look at the sandals. They're called Earth Runners. They're just like ah. Earth sandals. So here's here's something <laughs> very interesting to me. Uh -huh. I actually interviewed a woman. I think it was about like six years ago. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. She was talking about Earth Runners. She was telling me about how it has that uh, the copper peg. I believe yeah. that's in there. Yeah. Right? And it's I'll supposed to be you. great for conductivity with the yeah. earth, right? It has like the copper peg in there. Yep. And like I can literally fold them up. I wear them all the time. Beautiful. Um, Beautiful. Except for when I'm in a city. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So yeah, I remember her telling me about that mm -hmm. and I was just like, Earth runners, that sounds so so yes. amazing. Like that's pretty cool. That's yes. pretty cool. So let me ask you this, because you, you probably already know some of these things, but I just want to test it out anyway. That second page we're looking at working and grounding. Yes. Are you familiar with it? Yes. What could you tell me your benefits have been like yeah. from like when you've tried that, if you ever had an opportunity to do that, what do you feel as opposed to like when you came there and then you leave, what do uh -huh. you feel? Um I think I it falls under the category. Yeah. 
but I have a lateral pelvic tilt okay. that I've been working on and I've been trying to like like transform holistically rather than going to the doctor because I can't really afford that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Let me start. And the Earth Runners is not sponsored, but like the Earth Runners are something that have helped because like in my day to day I used to wear like Doc Martens, they used to be like those platform, like I love how they look. Yeah. They make me feel very powerful when yeah. I wear them, you know. I still wear them but like I stopped wearing them to like work when I had like long shifts and like when I was standing a ton. And so I've noticed that it just helps like, the integrity of my posture better. Um, and so I think that translates to when you're walking barefoot too. So, yeah. A lot of times when I tell people uh, when they're walking around the country, but it's, we don't realize sometimes the type of shoes we wear. Mm-hmm. Because we wear them more for style and yeah. things like this, mm-hmm. the types of impact that it can have on our body, right? Like, and you kind of just mentioned some of them, right? Yeah. So, so, a lot of times we can end up looking tight, right? Like, parts of our feet because of our training. So, these are the shoes that are like maybe a little more narrow yeah. and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely important to find the right type of shoe, I would yeah. say, right? Yeah. So, and you kind of sure. found them with Earth Runners. So I did. That's amazing. I did, Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Um, so if you kind of flip to the next page, I think we're talking about how massages like can like promote good sleep. Have you ever heard of that before? I have heard of foot massages. I've never had one, and I'm not the biggest fan of massages. But I do believe like in like traditional Chinese medicine, like acupuncture, a lot of times like there's a whole anatomy of your foot. So I believe it. I just want to see it for myself, but. Try out a tool or two, like to like test out some of that massaging that you can do on your own. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm gonna give you two things to do, and then all I want you to do is just tell me. Okay. Okay. So let's start with this one first. Okay. Now all I want you to do is you're just gonna put your foot on top of it, and you're just gonna roll it back and forth. We're gonna do both feet. I want you to tell me what you feel with this one, and then we're gonna try one more. You're gonna tell me the difference. So how does this one feel? What, 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 if you could describe it as what it's kind of doing to the bottom of your foot, what do you think it is? It's probably alleviating some tension. Okay. Because it's yeah. like kind of like a foam roller. Okay. Do you feel like it's covering more ground? Um, I feel like it's really only getting like the whatever. <laughs> I don't know what this kinda part like is. Kind of like the ball of your foot. Yeah, okay. the ball of my foot. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's try the left. And which are you right handed or left handed? I'm right handed. Right handed. Yeah. Tell me if you felt it more on your right arm. Actually, I feel it more on my left. You feel it more on your left? Which, that, that's yeah. probably because you do a lot of planting off of it, right? Mm. Most people who play sports, right, you're yes. always taught to, like, you push off yes. if you're right-handed with the left, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. So let's try this one now. And I want you to tell me, what do you feel with this one? Do it, does it feel different? Do you feel like it's, like, hitting any area specifically? Okay. okay. I feel like this one's going to hurt. Shouldn't hurt. It oh, no, should it just feel like hurt. it's getting more deeper into, like, some of those muscle groups and stuff, right? Yeah, oh, interesting. I feel it in my, like... Uh, in the back, right? In the... Calf? Up the calf and then in my quad. There you go. Or, or hamstring, sorry. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Cool. So this is something I always tell people. You can do this at home. You go buy, mm-hmm. buy a golf ball, tennis ball. Mm-hmm. Literally, you've been having a long day, feet are hurting. Go home and do this because more than likely, if your feet are hurting, mm-hmm. you probably impacted another part of your body as right. well by that. So, yeah. a little trick for you. Love that. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, thanks. All right, so... Let's flip one more. Well, you're kind of already on the page. This one. <laughs> and so this is windy. talking about reflexology. You said you've already kind of seen some of these charts before. Yes. And kind of what they kind of talk about. Um, have you ever had any experiences with reflexology before? You kind of said you wanted to get more information on it before you actually tried it. I've only seen diagrams like this, but this is the first time I've looked like closely at it. Ah, nice. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And you can find these online mm-hmm. um, easily, but like these different areas that it can connect to, right? Because, mm-hmm. and I was just talking to a young lady and we were talking about the meridian points, right? So mm-hmm. like the top of your head, right? Reaches down to every part of your body, right? It's in right. control of blood flow, all those things, right? Mm-hmm. And all those areas that you have that are endpoints, which are our hands, our feet, they actually go back right up to your brain. Mm-hmm. So it would make sense that it would connect to different parts of your body, right? Right. Yes. What are your thoughts about that? Oh, I believe it. I mean, in undergrad, I study neuroscience. And ah. the biggest, thing that was missing from my degree was the somatic aspect or like the body aspect the like connecting the mind to the body like you were just saying yeah that like we have nerves going all the way down but we only focus on studying what's up here you know um and of course there's lots of just the little 
niche I was in, that's what we studied, you know? Nice. Um, so yeah, I, this is kind of right up my alley. I love that. <laughs> I love that. All right. So usually when we get to this person, we like to talk about sensitivity, mm-hmm. all right? How sensitive would you say you are on your feet? On my feet? Yeah. And we're talking about like it could be ticklers. Have you ever gone and got pedicures before? Uh, yes. Okay. How sensitive? Not a fan of them. Probably okay. like a nine for sensitivity. A nine for sensitivity. Yeah. Okay. Just like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I have a trick for you. Mm-hmm. Do you mind if we test it? Sure. I want to show you how it could be less sensitive. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Cool. I'm going to use a tool too. Okay. All right. So we're going to use a hairbrush to kind of try to mimic okay. some of that moment that they do with the, uh, uh, what do they call it? Pumice stone. All right. Okay. So if you can't put your feet out straight like this. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with your right one first, then we'll mm. try the left. We're not gonna show you the trick first. I just want you to tell me how sensitive it is. Afterwards, we'll do the trick. I want you to tell me how much did they go down. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. All right, so here we go. One, two, three. And what are we feeling right here on this one? If you could give me a scale, one out of 10, what, do you, what would you say you feel? <laughs> and where do you feel it at the most? Is it more in the arch? Uh, no, it's like right here. So it's right at the top of the ball of your foot. Yeah. Okay, and that's kind of what you were, you were just saying that when you were doing the tennis ball earlier you felt it more in the yeah. ball of your foot okay yeah. so it's probably a little bit more sensitive there yeah okay let's try your left tell me if you feel it more or less here okay one two three and is this one more or less uh, it's less it's less yeah what do you say the scale is one out of ten um that was not that bad i would say that's like, not that bad that's like a five like yeah. a five yeah okay and then over here maybe like a six like a six okay yeah. here's what i want you to do mm-hmm. i want you to wiggle your toes while i'm doing it tell me if you feel it more or less okay. so wiggle here and are you feeling it more or less when I'm doing it? Oh, less. Less? Yeah. What did it go down to? Like chill. Like a, like like a, chill. Like a chill. Like, like a, zero. Okay, like, cool. Like I don't even really yeah. feel it. Okay. Not, Let's try it here. It. All right. And then I want you to tell me why Why do you think it's that? So try here. Let's okay. wiggle here. Okay. And then what about here? More or less? Oh, less. Yeah. Okay. It's still chill. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Why do you think it's less when you're wiggling? Um... I wiggle my toes, I feel like there are tendons that are being activated. Mm, very uh, close, very <laughs> close. Yeah, like... So you said you studied... What did you study? Neuroscience. Okay. So what did we just talk about how everything is connected, right? Mm-hmm. So think about it this way, right? Yeah. Your brain, you're sending signals, right? Right. Do this, right? Mm-hmm. It's almost like a distraction in a way, right? Oh, yes. Right? Because it's like, I'm telling you to look left, right? Yes. But something's happening right. So you're kind of distracted, you're not paying attention to that over right. here, right? I'd say, yes. I, my mental energy was more focused on wiggling my toes rather than what you were doing. Absolutely. Um, which is kind of the same as like when I'm stretching and stuff, you focus on the muscle group the you're muscles stretching. muscles that you're stretching. Or like when you're meditating, you focus on your breath. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And then here's another part of that because it's two-parted. So that's mm-hmm. one part. Second part is you're you're using energy, right? Because mm-hmm. you're doing this. Mm-hmm. I'm applying energy. What right. happens? Do they cancel? It cancels each they other cancel out. Each so other there you go. Out, yeah. So when you go get a pedicure, I know you said uh, you're not a fan of the whole pump and all that stuff, but go get it. And then yeah. they do this, just wiggle your toes a little bit. Oh, they help okay. you out. Okay. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, cool. So we're going to okay. have you do a couple exercises with your feet. Just put them back out straight like this. Okay. okay, so here's what I want you to do. This is the test dexterity flexibility you have, okay? Okay. Bend your toes, make a fist. Tell me if you feel pain or discomfort when you're doing that. Is that easy to do or is it hard to do? It's easy. Easy? Okay. Yep. So let me get you to spread now. Tell me if it's. Easy to do, hard to do. Oh yeah, I'm very bad. A little bit start. harder. Okay. <laughs> I can't do this for you. Do you know why though? And I'm gonna tell you right now, like I... right when you go work out, right? Yeah. When you do something over and over again, what happens? Uh, you build like you build muscles, strength, you, you build flexibility. Muscles, yeah. It becomes easier, right? Mm-hmm. That's all you gotta do. Do that yeah. at home. Okay. It'll start to help you out a little bit. You get more flexible in that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Last thing, let me just get you to wiggle your toes for about ten seconds. You tell me if you feel any pain, any discomfort, any cramping, anything like that happen. Pretty easy? Pretty easy, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if I was you kind of give that a little bit try at home, I know it's kind of hard because you're not thinking about those things, yeah. but like it can definitely help you be more flexible and being more flexible in your feet can mm-hmm. actually prevent certain injuries from happening. Right. right. Sometimes people get like a sprained toe. Yeah. I was like, just from something weird. Like they barely step like this and it's like, oh, I sprained my toe. So mm-hmm. there you go. Okay. Um, awesome. Let's wrap up the interview. Okay. Um, in terms of my approach, when I came out, I walked up, I, I said, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Did you feel my approach was good? Was it bad? How'd you feel about it? Um, I thought it was non-intrusive. It was kind of just, you were very friendly. Yeah. Um, I felt like you immediately like talked about what you wanted to talk about and it felt relevant to what I was doing. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice. it was chill. <laughs> uh, in terms of the interview from start to finish, mm-hmm. could you kind of see how everything was going along in the line? Did it make sense? Yeah. Did you learn anything new? 
Um, I definitely learned, well, I'm going to look this up actually, okay. like, like the actual <laughs> diagrams and stuff nice. for nice. like pressure points. Yeah, there's um, one for your hands too on there for oh, the next yeah. page. Hands, yeah. Because yeah. it's connections that you have in both areas because these are endpoints, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely learned. I think like it solidified all the parts that I've been wanting to like dive into myself too. So, nice. yeah. Yeah. There you go. So I can be able to go. Yeah. Um, last thing I want to ask you, something that you can say to my channel. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's something that you've learned in life. Maybe it's like a message somebody gave to you that was helpful for you. Something mm -hmm. you can say back to the channel to be helpful for them. Um, let me think real quick. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. Don't even worry because I can cut out any type of light timer. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Just take yeah. your time. Um, I say this one a lot for my friends and stuff because... And not for friends, but just anyone close to me. Because um, we were talking about earlier, like, I was stretching because I was feeling anxiety. Yeah. And, like, I'm in a transient light time in my life right now. Okay. Um, there's a lot of changes, but I think, like, I always come back to, like, community and people. And so my favorite quote from Michael Pollan, who is a neuroscientist. Okay. Um, well, he's doing yeah. psychedelic um, research, like, clinically. Okay. Um, but he's... He had this one quote in one of his books about, um, it just said, all this time spent worrying about my little heart, what about all the other hearts in my life? Um, and that always reminds Whoa. me of like, hold up, let me call my friend right now, you know? Let Man. me talk to her, you know? Like, let me ask her how she's doing. Cause like, maybe we're in the same boat and it's happened so many times. And so, yeah. That was deep, man. I, yeah. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that because it's like, it, it's true. Like sometimes you get so focused on your own problems and you, Sometimes we can always get inside kind of like a state of like, oh, you know, I'm going through this again. And then mm -hmm. sometimes you got somebody who's dealing with like either the same thing or even something worse. Yeah. Yeah. Reaching out to them could be helpful for both mm -hmm. of you guys. So, yeah. Wow. Universal experience. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, Definitely appreciate you. you just stopping mm -hmm. to do this interview with thank us. You so all right. Much, yeah. And we hope that you have a great one. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. That's fine.